Hello beautiful magical creatures. Welcome to my channel. I am Unicorn, and today we have a wonderful themed pick a card for you today. Today it is themed like Mardi Gras because on the date I'm recording this it is Mardi Gras or otherwise known as Fat Tuesday and so I actually was lucky enough to go to New Orleans and I got this cool magnet from there and so I don't know, it kind of inspired me to do this fun little pick a card today, sort of in the Mardi Gras theme of the fun masks and beads. And the question we're going to be asking today is, what does, what false masks is this person wearing? Or in other words, what sort of secrets are they hiding? So what secret false masks does this person have? Um, so for this pick a card, we have five little choices. Or it's really not a pick a card, it's a pick a, <laughs> pick a pile. Uh, I will actually be doing something sort of different. I usually have the piles pre-shuffled, but I was thinking I could try to sort of shuffle them um, on camera. We'll see how that goes. I may not like to do that in the future, but I'm going to try it out and uh, let me know if you like that or not. But anyway, we're going to have this is one, two, three, four, and five. So again, um, this is pile one with the purple beads and the black mask. It actually has this little red flower on the side of it too. So uh, purple bead, purple beads and black mask for number one, blue mask and blue beads for number two, uh, this cool rainbow mask with green beads for number three, this uh, pink mask and pink beads for number four, and the red mask and red beads for number five. Um, go ahead and take your time, pause if you need to, to meditate on the cards and use your intuition to pick the right number for you. And as always, I'll have the uh, timestamps in the description below for you as well as pinned in the comment section. All right, so I'll meet you at your pile. Oh, and I did forget to say, we will be using the Tarot of Sexual Magic today. So of course, as always, my pick of cards are 18 plus. So just keep that in mind. If you're not under, <laughs> if you are under 18, I should say, if you're not over 18, um, then these videos are not for you. And I would ask you to go pick another, <laughs> pick another card reader because all my, all of my readings are 18 plus. All right. So again, thank you. I will meet you at your piles. Hello, group number one. Those of you who chose this cool black mask with the red flower and the purple beads here, this is going to be your reading. So I will start by saying I did try to do the whole like shuffle on camera thing um, and it took me way too long. So I'm gonna have to improvise here a little bit. I'm gonna try to just do it as fast as possible, which means three shuffles and split the deck. And that's going to be it. So we're going to try that. So by three shuffles, I mean going through the whole deck like that. So that's one shuffle. Yeah. And so we're asking spirit here for piles number one, what false masks or secrets is this person hiding, the person they're thinking about? person they have in mind hiding from piles number one all right I think that was three right <laughs> I'm gonna say that was three and then I'm gonna split the deck all right I'm gonna take that the chariot Ooh. okay so this sounds like this person has a decision that they're trying to make the chariot is all about fast movement um, but specifically in this card here if you guys can see it says this way or that way. So this person, it's kind of like the Two of Pentacles card, actually, um, th this image. It's interesting because they have this person kind of deciding, but she's on a, you know, a motorcycle here. So obviously she's like trying to make like a fast or like a quick decision, but she knows she has to go. She can't go both ways, right? You can only go one way or the other. So this person... Maybe they're hiding the fact that they um, have an important decision that they're contemplating right now. All right, so that was for like sort of like a general energy. Now we've got this deck as well, so I'm shuffling here. That's 
one. Oop. Okay. Well, you know what? It flipped up. So I think in that event, <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, we got the six of wands. Okay. So this person that six of wands is all about victory and having success. So it sounds like this person is going to maybe have success. I don't know how that relates to what they're hiding, but we'll find out. Let's, let's just do all the cards first. I think that's um, a good idea. So this is also, by the way, the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So again, just a quick reminder, all my videos are 18 plus, 18 or older uh, for adult viewers only. So please, if you are not an adult, please kindly click off my video. <laughs> I um, You can find lots of other tarot readers who may or may not do 18 plus readings. I think, I feel like most tarot readings are for 18 or older, but anyway. Um, okay, so I'd say, sorry, that's like two, I think. <laughs> Lost track, but here, let's do three. All right. You know what? I do normally split the deck, but I like to, I should pull from the top. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Pile number one, you're sort of the guinea pig here uh, for how I'm going to decide how to shuffle my cards so it's quicker for you guys to be watching. All right, so, and then it says Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is for... I forgot to show Six of Wands for you too. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. There's your Six of Wands card. That's a victory card. It means victory or success is um, on their way for this person, which is good news, I think. So maybe they have good news. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're hiding some good news. They made a decision about something and it's good news. So that could um, apply to a number of different situations. So take what resonates for you guys. Now this is the Queen of Pentacles. So Queen of Pentacles is a, you know, nice, powerful energy. It's a feminine energy and it's, um, you can see she's kind of, <laughs> this guy is kind of worshiping her down here, right? And she's just kind of veining like disinterest or something. She's kind of like not into it, it seems like. But, um, I think this card is indicating, um, that this person is kind of just in their power when it comes to their finances and their money because Pentacles is a finance um, related to finances. And so I feel like they're just kind of sitting pretty on their like throne, right? They're just up here and they're like kind of enjoying the fruits of their labor and stuff. So that's good. So far, not not too shabby. Not not a lot. This person seems to be hiding from you, piles number one, which I think is probably a good thing, right? Okay, so um, last but not least, Spirit, please tell us if there's anything else you need to know about this person as far as what they are hiding from groups number one. Are there any secrets they're hiding here? That's two. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to take it. Um, if they fall out like that, I'm going to take them. Oh, and there's two. Okay. King of Wands and Page of Pentacles. All right. I normally would only want one, but this just sounds, again, King of Wands, very similar to Queen of Pentacles, but King of Wands is more of like a, a creative, he's a creative guy. Again, um, there's no genders in tarot, so it's just, um, this is more masculine, this is more feminine energy, but really I think what's more important is this is about, um, you know, this is kind of the high, one of the highest cards in wands. Um, and I technically I think ace is above, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, the king of wands though, he's all about being, um, an entrepreneur. He's like very creative. He's a creative guy, has a lot of ideas. So maybe again, this kind of relates to the six of wands, right? Um, this person kind of maybe has an idea and a choice that they're trying to choose and um but whatever they choose or whatever this idea is they're going to have success with the six of wands here so that's good it's just it sounds like it's just good news for you page of pentacles is also like a little offer so they may be offering again for it's a pentacles card so this person may be offering maybe a little bit of money maybe it's a Maybe it's a job offer or just some sort of gift 
a gift offering. The pentacles is, you know, not just money, but, um, material goods and wealth and well-being. So, um, maybe they're going to be giving you a gift. That's for some of you. Piles number one. Okay. And now we have the Oracle cards. So just going to maybe do one shuffle for these. I don't want to take too long here. Let's see. Any other additional information we can, I lied. <laughs> Any other information we need for piles number one spirit? Any other information? If nothing pops out, then I'll take the first one. Okay. So it says, can you guys see that? Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. I love that card. Okay, so this is sort of what I was saying here. They might have a good idea that's going to not only benefit you because they're going to either give you a nice offer, um, something related to this successful idea that they have um, in their head. They haven't, you know, quite obviously they haven't told you about it yet, but um, this is what they're planning on telling you about. And they're going to give you this offer in the form of either an, uh, an offer to join them with this idea, like maybe it's a new business they're wanting to start or it's potentially a gift that they're going to give you because of this because of this new idea. So that just means that it's going to be something that's good for both. It's a win-win outcome, which is great. Good for everyone involved, I should say. Cuz they may be doing they may be offering the same to others as well. All right, and one more oracle card. Let's see. Any other information we can get? Oops. <laughs> See, this is why I don't shuffle on camera, guys. It makes the video so much longer. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm trying here, okay. All right, so it was this card on top. Milk and honey, perfect. Oh man, such good news. The milk and honey is such a beautiful card to get. Look at this, oh, I never noticed it's a little elephant sitting in the bowl, that's so cute. <laughs> I love elephants. They're actually my favorite animal. All right. So let me just put that down. So this is beautiful. So milk and honey is a very, like another kind of, I would say like a victory card here. It really goes well with the rest of the spread. Um, because milk and honey is sort of just like, you know, all things good and delicious and happy. <laughs> the little rainbow here. So that's a very, very good, good luck. Great card to get in this spread here and last but not least can we have some information last um oh well i said last but not least i have another thing this is the uh, oracle of the unicorn and then i also have advice from a unicorn to draw as well for you guys okay that i'll be shuffled enough right now <laughs> let's go one more time okay universe any additional messages for pile oops <laughs> Piles number one, hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Beautiful message. Okay, so again, yeah, this is just a very positive reading. It says that whatever they're hiding, it's going to be good news. It's going to be something that's going to be equally beneficial for you and them and all parties involved. And to just have hope that this is going to work out well and this is going to be you know, it's going to be great. It's going to be milk and honey for you all. All right. Uh, I did have this advice uh, from a unicorn. This is just um, sort of all the days since 2020 here, uh, since the first. So I was just going to kind of shuffle these up kind of the same way if I can. <laughs> um to kind of draw a message for you too. So let's see one more, one more time here. Okay, this one. This says, people are watching you even if you don't know it, be a good role model. All right, I like that. That's always a good message to adhere to, right? Always do your best. Like this card said, have hope, you know, be positive, stay positive. Good things are coming your way, piles number one, uh, or group number one. So yeah, I think that's a pretty awesome message. I do have um, these little charms I can draw and then we'll roll some dice for you 
as well. Okay, so, hold on. I should... Maybe I'm doing too much, right? <laughs> it's already going over time. Let's see. Let me just shake up my magically lucky charms here. They're magically delicious. <laughs> That's next reading. Okay, let me just close my eyes. Pour out just a few. Okay, here we go, guys. Right off the bat, here we go. More pentacles. This is a great, um, great little coin because this is actually... Um, my four leaf clover for good luck little charm trinket. So again, victory, good luck, um, gifts, abundance, milk and honey. Amazing. Um, I like this little, so you got also this little ice cream cone. This is like a cute little dessert that I think just kind of goes with the milk and honey, you know, all, it's all good. It's all sweet. You also got this little pot. So something's brewing, right? Something's cooking up. They're, um, they're you know, cooking up a, a good idea that's going to help and benefit everybody. And um, we also have this cute little seashell, which to me just is also a hope card kind of um, sign because, you know, it's, um, I just love collecting seashells and I think it's so fun. And it just reminds me of good times on the beach. I got these, uh, I got this little guy at the beach. So yeah, that just reminds me to have hope. And last but not least, we have this little black flower. And to me, the flower is always friendship. So it sounds like this person is your friend. They just want to, you know, they want what's best for you and they want to give you a happy surprise and happy gift. So I, that's a super exciting for you, pile number one or group number one. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this reading. Thank you so much for watching it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out and hit the subscribe button if you'd want more readings just like this one. Thank you so much, you guys, and I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you had a very fun uh, Mardi Gras and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot piles number one. I'm sorry. I, was, I said I was going to roll some dice for you. So we've got some dice here. I was just going to roll it and see what lucky numbers come out. Ooh, okay. Ooh, you got a lot of what? You guys, you got a lot of ones. So one is your lucky number, which is funny because you picked group number one. So that's awesome. You got five ones, which is awesome. You've got the number five and number two, three, and... A couple sixes here all right so that was your lucky numbers group number one thank you again so much for watching i really appreciate it again hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you want more readings like this and thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a magical magical day take care hello group number two thank you so much for choosing this video so you picked the blue beads here as well as the nice pretty blue like lacy mask and let's jump right into your reading so I was going to try to do shuffling these cards on screen I'm gonna be honest with you guys I probably won't do this again <laughs> just because it takes so much time to shuffle on camera but I am going to you know try to stay consistent with it uh, and just do three little shuffles Asking the universe, the angels, the spirits, what secret does, what secrets or masks is this person wearing? What secrets are they hiding from piles number one? Let's see. We've got the Ace of Cups. Oh, well, Ace of Cups is an amazing card to get for love. So, oh. Sorry guys, I dropped it. Uh, but yeah, the Ace of Cups, what a beautiful card. Ace of Cups actually is an amazing card for love. So maybe this person wants to give you their cup of love. Maybe they just haven't told you yet. Maybe they have secret feelings. We'll, we'll have to draw more cards to see. Uh, but that's a great first way to start your messages here, your reading. All right, angels. For people who chose group number two, what is it, the person they have in mind? What what secrets or masks? What masks do this person hide? What secrets? 
are they hiding from groups number two? All right. Seven of Cups. Okay, so Seven of Cups is all about making a decision. So maybe this person has a decision they're trying to make, and um, there's all these different cups you see with all different sort of options. So this person is hiding maybe that they do have options. Um, and, you know, a Cups, again, is a love card. So perhaps it's in the avenue of love. Maybe, maybe they're not telling you that they have other other people interested in them, but maybe they're interested in you. Let's find out more. All right. So also this is the tarot sexual magic. So again, if you are under 18, please do not watch my reading. Please click off now. This is for adults 18 plus. So what secrets is this person hiding from groups number one, angels, guard, uh, guides? <laughs> Ooh. My goodness, look at that. See, this is fiery. Um, Six of Wands. Six of Wands is passion. Um, wands is all about passion. So, yeah. Look at look at her. <laughs> is, um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm sorry, you guys. If I knock the camera, don't mean to. Um, I'm gonna say that. Um, now, this might be you, and this might be the person. Again, gender doesn't matter. You know, apply the gender as you see fit. But I just, in this image, I'm thinking this might be you, and this might be that person that you're thinking of. And, you know, um, if this is for love, of course. <laughs> if it's for somebody else, not. But I, I'm feeling like with the two, you know, with the, the two cards we just drew here, <laughs> and uh, pile number one wasn't like this at all. This is a much more steamy group, you guys, just so you know. So if this isn't resonating, maybe pick another another number, another group. But, oh, so sorry. I keep knocking the camera. But, um, yeah, I feel like this person, I think this is just like they are really admiring you. They really like you. I think they're very attracted to you. So let's, let's keep looking. Um, one more deck for one last message angels spirit guides universe whatever you want to call it what one more message please let me i'm gonna shuffle one more time sorry about that okay oh there we go <gasps> you guys this is i can't make this stuff up it's so cute look this is the Six of Cups, this is your person bringing you a cup of love. Can you guys see that? This is like the holographic deck, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. But yeah, Six of Cups is all about um, all about like offering love. This is more of like a friendship kind of love too. It's like an innocent kind of love is like a pure love I would say so this person really has pure love for you but obviously they also are very attracted to you so this person I think they're very yeah I think this person really really likes you group number two um I just think that maybe what they're hiding their secret their secret here is that they have others interested in them but I think they're I think they want you that's what I'm getting so far um I have a few Oracle decks here uh, as well. So it's just what any additional messages for groups number two? Any additional messages, groups number two? Okay. And this says, <laughs> you guys can see my mess. Hold on, let me. Oh my goodness. Let's see, this is why I don't shuffle on camera, guys. <laughs> I swear, I'm not picking these things. I'm not looking at them before I start reading them, but this is why. Okay, so it says, I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. What a beautiful card. Amazing. That's so great. Okay, yeah. So this, I feel like this card relates a lot to the Seven of Cups card here. In fact, I'm going to put it right underneath because I think this is saying, Whatever this person chooses, it's going to be the right 
choice because they're being guided, you guys. They're being guided. I think they're being guided toward you. So hopefully that's uh, <clears throat> what you guys want to hear because that sounds like good news to me. I, and by the way, I don't sugarcoat my readings. I really do try to read just as what I'm through my, I do read in, you know, with my intuition, but I try to just read the message I'm seeing. And I'm seeing that this person really has eyes for you. Pile number two. Peace. Oh, that's just a very pretty card. All right, so I feel like this is just a, a reminder for you to have some peace of mind about this situation. Maybe you're, maybe you're sort of waiting on this person to give you some <laughs> indication that they're into you and kind of like the green light, right? Um, I think, I think they're, they're almost there. Groups number two. I really, really think they're almost there. Okay. And last but not least, is there any other? I'm going to do this one more time. Any other messages? Okay. We have the freedom card. Love wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. Interesting. All right. Well, I think, I think what this card is saying, I don't think this card is saying, you know, go be free from this person unless you want to. Maybe that's for some of you. Unless you want to. Um, obviously... Always trust your intuition. That's sort of what this card was saying, you know. You're being guided, so always trust your intuition above anything else. Above any any tarot reading, trust your intuition. But this is just guided messages for you guys. And I think this one's just saying that, you know, kind of like the peace. I feel like it's trying to say have faith in this, um, that everything's going to work out in divine timing. The universe has your back here. And this is saying... Um, live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. So for some of you, this may not resonate for everyone, but maybe this person has to, maybe it's, maybe they have options because they have to set themselves free from something else before they can, before they can move on to you guys. And it's funny because I specifically left out, um, the uh, romance angels cards. If you guys, you guys probably know what those are. Almost every reader has romance angels, and I left those out spe in this reading specifically because I wanted to try to, you know, maybe <laughs> silly me, maybe get some other sort of in, uh, information, some other intel other than just romance. But this 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 reading is definitely reading very very much romance. Okay, group number two, let's also get you one of these. These are just um, the advice from a unicorn. So let's see, what does it say? Find ways to spend less on things and more on experiences. All right, well, that's just some good advice, I'd say, in general. <laughs> the advice from a unicorn here um, is telling you to find ways to spend less on things and more on experiences. So maybe this is saying... As far as what this person is hiding, <laughs> this is the question here. I feel like it's saying um, maybe this person wants to have have more experiences with you. Maybe they want to, maybe that's what they're going to tell you with their offer of love here. Because you have the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. I feel like they want to maybe do something with you. I think they might invite you out to do something possibly for some of you. So yeah, I think that's an awesome reading. I hope you got something out of it. Group number two. Last but not least, I'm going to get a few charms here. I'm just going to grab off the top a couple because that's why I shake it up. Okay. Hold on. I feel like I don't get a lot from the bottom. <laughs> all right. We're going to, we'll take them all. We'll take them. <laughs> I got more than I wanted, but we'll take them all. Um, okay. So <laughs> we have this little cauldron. It's funny. Group number one got this one too. I feel like this, this, to me, this is just, um, a little charm about cooking something up, you know, they've got something brewing, which is so funny because this is all about what they're hiding, right? So this is sort of like their plans, what they're thinking. So what they're cooking up, I think that's sort of what that charm's all about. Then we have this little cowboy 
little little skeleton cowboy. Can you guys see him? I think he's so funny. And um, so I love this little cowboy guy. I think he kind of just represents fun. So again, this person looks like they want to have fun with you. They want to go on experiences with you. I feel like they need maybe to release something before they can, and that's why they haven't come forward yet for that. But yeah, um, this is just a little clear crystal to remind you to, again, have faith in the universe and, you know, everything in divine timing. And then this is a little pearl, like, drop. And I, this little teardrop, I feel like this is like pearls of wisdom. So that's what I think of when I see this little pearl teardrop. And it's kind of like, for me, this is kind of like lessons. So like, um, because it's in the shape of a teardrop, I always, I'm always thinking, oh, well, it's kind of like, you know, maybe you can cry over, maybe, maybe there's something that, you know, made you cry, but it was an important lesson that was in your life for a reason that you had to learn that lesson. Um, so that's why it's, it's a pearl. It's like, it's pearls of wisdom that you got from <laughs> lessons learned, maybe the hard way, but nonetheless important. And, um, let's see. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. Again, I can't plan this stuff. I just love when this happens. So this is my little charm to indicate the six of six of cups because it's this little flower and it always reminds me, I don't know if you guys saw in the card, cause like, again, it's kind of hard to see with this particular deck, which is why I'd never <laughs> use this deck, uh, on camera, but this little cup has a little flower in it and this is my charm for that. It's little flowers. Hope you guys can see. It's like a friendship. It's like a garden of friendship. So maybe this person is a friend of yours and they want to be maybe more than friends, but they just haven't told you that yet because maybe they need to, like I said, keep saying this, but maybe they need to release something before they can come forward to you about it. But they're, you know, this is just a confirmation again, that they're definitely going to offer you something, um, that you're going to like, maybe even a gift. Maybe they're going to give you like a bouquet of roses or something. Who knows? <laughs> maybe they'll give you some flowers. Um, doesn't have to be roses, you know, but <laughs> maybe they'll give you some kind of gift. And then this is just a little stone that is in there to remind, uh, to tell me that it's like, this is like your rock, you know? So like maybe this person to you is like really important to you. Maybe they are one of your best friends or something. And maybe, maybe that's why this rock came out. So again, these are like my friendship, uh, coins, which are like, uh, charms. I mean, sorry. And that's, I'm really happy about that. So then last but not least, we have this cute little Mickey, Mickey ears. So maybe you're a Disney fan. Maybe they are. Maybe that's the fun new experience they want to do. Maybe they want to take you to Disney. I'm not sure. <laughs> that would be super fun. I would love to go to Disney with all my friends. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, all the charms I have for you. Uh, pile number two and very last but not least I was going to shake up some of these dice oops put all the little charms over there I'm going to shake up these dice for you and we'll see whatever maybe lucky numbers will come out oops <laughs> if I could get the bag open hold on here we go all right so we've got a couple twos we got a one. Oh, we got three ones Awesome, yeah. Pile number one had like five ones. It was crazy, you guys. All right, so you've got ones, twos. Oh, you guys got four ones. Wow, one is a lucky number. You've got two twos, <laughs> three fours, and a five. So those might be some good numbers, maybe some birthday numbers. Ones, twos, fours and fives for you pile number two but thank you so much for watching this video i hope you really liked it if you did please give it a nice big thumbs up that really helps me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want more videos just like this one thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you had a happy um mardi gras and until next time i hope you have a very magical magical day namaste Hello group number three, you picked the green beads here and this awesome 
rainbowy mask. This one, this one's my favorite. Don't tell the others, but <laughs> so you've got this fun rainbow mask. And let's just jump right into your reading, group number three. So um, I'm going to be shuffling on camera. Now, <laughs> I don't think I will do this um, again because it just takes so much time, but oh, you know what? <laughs> Universe is like, here, I'll speed up for you. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. So we've got Ace of Swords. Oh, okay. So again, reminder, the question we asked was, what is this person, what false masks are they wearing or what are they hiding? What secrets do they have from uh, group number three? You've got the Ace of Swords. Okay, so Ace of Court, uh, Swords is... Swords is always about swift communication. Um, sometimes it can be about cutting people off. Uh, so maybe they have something to say to you. I feel like, but I find it really interesting in, in this deck, and this is why I love tarot so much, because you can read it a lot intuitively into not just the card itself, but the, the drawings. And in this one, she's holding up this sword, almost like in victory. So it's a little bit like the Six of Wands card, where it's sort of about victory, it looks like. So maybe this person wants success with the communication, but we'll have to find out by getting some more cards here. So, all right, group number three. What is this person hiding from group number three, or what, it, what are their secrets, I should say? What, what masks or secrets does this person have? Ooh, I love when that happens, you guys. Okay. <laughs> I love when they flip up like that for me. <laughs> death. Okay. So don't get scared. Some people get scared on the death cards, but death just means a change. So like a big change, like, a you know, a rebirth, right? So there's, um, this person's going through a lot in their lives. Number three. Um, so maybe they're just, maybe they're not communicating this because, they're currently sort of, you know, as they say, in the trenches with this. Maybe they're really going through a tough time. You know, dark night of the sun, as they say. Or dark night of the soul, I mean. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes I feel like there's no mistake. So maybe I said that on purpose. But, you know, sun, the sun card is uh, in tarot is for Leo. So maybe that was supposed to be for some Leos out there, my fellow Leos. But, um yeah, dark night of the soul. Maybe they're just, maybe that's what they're not communicating to you, group number three. It's just that they're going through a tough time right now. But they do want to communicate, it looks like. They want to communicate with you. All right. Um, let's grab this deck. This is the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Again, if you are under 18, please click off my video. My videos are for 18 or older adults only. And let's see, one more shuffle, I think. Um, what is this person? Oh, that wasn't a very good shuffle, was it? See, this is why. I I just, I love when they the cards fly out. I, that's what I like to do, but I need to get used to kind of going, yeah, this is the card, here we go. And I don't take reversals. Ooh, the 10 of wands, oh my goodness. This is steamy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so um, intuitively what I'm getting from this card is, see how they're out here in nature? I feel like in a lot of ways this card, Ten of Wands is in the regular tarot is all about burdens and like carrying too much and being overloaded. But for this one, I feel like it might have to do with maybe Maybe they have some sexual fantasies that they don't like feel great about. Maybe it's sort of burdening them. Like maybe they want something like this with you possibly. Um, for those of you who are asking about a potential romantic partner, um, obviously if that <laughs> doesn't apply to your situation, disregard it. Um, but as far as this card is concerned, I feel like so it's sort of like there's this like air of like forbidden or taboo with this card to me. This is like, you know, they're out and they're, they're in, you know, they're, they're like, what's that word? They're sort of like voyeuristic, I think is the word where they, they're like, Ooh, 
let's let's do this like taboo outside where we might get caught kind of thing (laughs) but I feel like their desire for this potentially with you group number three is kind of weighing them down in a way that might be what they're going through but again this you know everybody has lots of different facets right so this might just be a a portion of what they're going through because with the death card they might be just going through a lot of different stuff right now uh you just might not know about it um you know whether it's in their personal life whether it's you know external or might just be internal but they they seem like they're going through <laughs> going through a lot right now and they feel very burdened groups number 3 and i feel like they they want to tell you that but maybe they just haven't told you yet maybe they're scared of how you would react for some of you i just got that message um all right last but not least for the tarot messages what else can you tell me universe about what this person is hiding what false masks they're hiding oh i wanted to flip <laughs> okay see you guys this is why it's like shuffling up camera is so hard okay you know what i'm gonna take that one knight of wands okay let's not show the others i just want to take the one take the one knight of wands card all right so guys hopefully you can see this this is the uh (laughs) holographic deck so it's kind of hard to see on camera but this is the knight of wands so knight of wands is all about swift action um sorry swift communication um well sorry swords is all about communication really um wands is actually more about creativity um but the knights are always about communication, bringing information, um, you know, writing on their steed. They're, um, so I feel like the Knight of Wands is just another indication that they want to communicate something with you. See how the death card also, this person's on their horse. I feel like a lot of these cards are indicating, um, they want to communicate this with you. They want to tell you what's going on with them. And obviously for each of you guys, it's going to be individual things, right? It's going to be very specific to your person, what they exactly they're going through. But this is what I'm picking up with these cards is that this person just wants to tell you that they're really going through something hard right now. And I think they want your help, but I think they don't know how to ask for your help. Let's find out more. Um, These are some oracle cards. What else do we need to know, spirit, about pile number three or group number three's person? Oh, this says, when I'm in alignment with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. All right, you guys see that? When I'm in line with the love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted interesting good message um i think that this is sort of just saying that this person i think they need they are hoping that you will just hear them out and listen to them with an open heart and mind and with love in your heart so that because they don't want to disrupt the peace i think that's why they're holding back right but again this might be something that that they are feeling a little uncomfortable to tell you, right? This is something that they want to tell you, but they don't know how you're going to react. And that's why they're holding back from telling you. So I feel like they want you to accept them and just hear them out and listen to them and maybe hold comments (laughs) until the end, right? Uh, Sometimes when you tell something, someone something, they're kind of too busy wanting to like react something that you said and it's like I just wanted you to listen I just want you to I just you know I want you to really listen to me so maybe that's what's going on here let's uh find out more one of these cards please spirit for what we need to know what what more do we need to know for pile number two person time to go ooh I'm um, sorry, pile number three, I said two, didn't I? Pile number three's person. Time to go. Hmm. 
Okay, so maybe this person, I feel like this really does go with the death card here too, because this person is going through something, they're, they're making changes, and this may not mean that they want to, you know, make, for some of you, for a very select few of you guys out there, I'm just going to tell you, because this is a message I keep getting that I, I need to say, for the very small amount of you, this means that they may want to leave a relationship with you. But don't get too scared about that. I feel like that's, that's I think you would know if, uh, you're, you're going to know if that applies to you. But for most of you, for the rest of you, this is not talking about with you. I feel like this is talking about um, whatever they're dealing with in their life. So maybe it's a, maybe they're transitioning jobs. Maybe they feel like it's time to leave their current job. Maybe they're trying to leave, um, for some of you, their current partner, because it's not you. <laughs> um, maybe, yeah, there's just something in their life that they feel like it's time to leave. It's no longer serving them, and they have to um, move on from that, which I think is healthy. It's very healthy to cut things out that no longer serve you. Um, some people hold on to so much. And it's like that only weighs you down sometimes. Like it's very healthy to, it's like pruning a tree, you know, or, or a bush, like a rose bush. Your, bu your rose bush is going to not be as beautiful if you never prune it. So you should do the same with your life, right? And that's just a message for me. <laughs> um, that's how I, that's, that's how I choose to look at it anyway. It's, it's very healthy to let things, certain things go that are no longer serving you. So, all right. Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Uh, Spirit, any additional messages for group number three? Anything else? Oh, okay. This one I feel like wanted to jump out. Abundance. Beautiful. I love this card so much. This is actually my favorite. I think <laughs> this is my favorite card in this deck so far. I haven't seen all the cards, but I uh, sort of flipped through them last night because I just got these recently and I think it's so pretty. Look at these rainbow wings. Yeah, so I feel like this is another sign from the universe. It's it's gonna, everything should, everything's gonna work out in the end, right? Like it always does. Um, <laughs> for it all, there's always a purpose, right? For everything. Um, that's how I believe. But this is just saying that there's going to be um, a lot of love and abundance in your life, um, potentially with this person, and they're they're moving away from something. They're going through a tough time now, but after after they come out of that, they're going to have a lot of abundance, and potentially with you, group number three. So, all right. Um, last but not least, I do have some advice from a unicorn. These are just um, from my calendar. So I think this one wants to pop out. Um, this says find a hustle and make it work for you. Awesome. Okay. So I feel like that also plays in with the whole other card that I was saying. Well, I was saying how this person, it might be career related, right? It might not have anything to do with relationships. So I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> get anyone scared out there. But then again, I also don't try to sugarcoat my messages. I just sort of read the cards like I, how I see them. So, um, but for most of you, I feel like it's, this is something about their life that they just want to share with you and they want you to be open to that communication. And this, however, is about, I think this means that this is more of a confirmation. It is more about career-based stuff. It's um, finding a hustle and making it work for you. So I think they just want to find something that's going to work for them, right? right? Whatever it is, whatever's going on in their life currently is not working for them and that they just need a change. So overall, <laughs> I feel like this is like probably the most confusing group, you guys. Sorry. Uh, it feels like a little all over the place, but I think the overall overarching message is they want to talk to you. They want you to be open and listen. Non-judgmental, I just heard. <laughs> um, Non-judgmental, listen to them. They're, it's, you know, they're going through something, but at the end of whatever they're going to go through, their outcome is going to be good. They're going to have an amazing abundance. Um, 
either them or you or both of you. Uh, and yeah, it's all going to work out in the end. And th they want something that's going to work for them. So they're going to most likely, it's going to be something about career or relationship that wasn't working and it's going to eventually work out. Okay, <laughs> hopefully that makes sense. I'm also going to shake up this little magical, luck, magically lucky tumbler of charms. It's going to get Sorry, I meant to do that on camera, but man, is it loud. Okay, just get the top ones. All right, oh, I see a little message in a bottle. Okay, so if you had a question in mind, think of a question, pause if you need to, and the answer in the message in the bottle says no. So little message in the bottle says no. So whatever you asked, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, we've got the happy birthday charm, so maybe someone's birthday is coming up. Uh, maybe they want to celebrate with you. There are three little ice cream cones, <laughs> which I love because look at all these. Look at this variety, you guys. Look at all this choice in ice cream cones. I love that. So this person, they're going to, you guys, they're going to be super abundant after this tough time. See, they've got all this choice and they've got more than enough. You know, so I feel like this is just a confirmation. All these little ice creams are a confirmation for the abundance here. Um, all right, and what was the last one? I lost it. Okay, here it is. <laughs> last but not least, we've got this little um, pink swirly. It's actually a bead, but this um, reminds me of... Um, rose quartz so rose quartz for those of you who don't know is a very amazing healing stone i recommend everyone get a rose quartz it's one of the best um it's my favorite actually <laughs> we've got selenite here Shh. <laughs> i love selenite i love you guys too but um <laughs> i love rose quartz so i actually have a rose quartz heart and i wear it a lot by my heart um and yeah, it's just a wonderful healing stone. It makes me calm. So I feel like this is just a reminder that if, uh, for some of you guys, if you're interested in that, if you ever wanted to have us like look into getting a stone for yourself, totally recommend rose quartz. So that's going to be healing for you or them. Maybe, maybe you could get them a birthday present, right? <laughs> if their birthday's coming up. Um, and Finally, last but not least, I'm going to shake up these little dice here, and then we're going to, oops, we're going to shake up the dice and see if there's any lucky numbers. Ooh, you guys, I'm seeing a ton of sixes already. Look at that. Oh, sorry, that was a six. It just it flipped over when I was moving it, but you guys have four sixes, so six is looks like a lucky number for you guys. You also have a couple fours. A couple fives and a couple threes. All right, awesome. So, yeah, those are your lucky numbers, um, or maybe birth dates for some of you guys threes, fives, fours, and sixes. <laughs> I did that in order. I don't know why. Sorry, <laughs> threes, fours, fives, and sixes. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this pile number three. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you liked it, please give it a nice big thumbs up. That means a lot to me. Also, hit the subscribe button. That way you get notified for all, uh, sorry, hit the bell. <laughs> and then you'll get notified um, for future readings just like this. I hope you guys had a lovely, amazing um, Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday. And I hope you guys have a magical, magical day. Namaste. Hello, group number four. You guys picked these pink beads and this cool little, this cute little pink mask. Oh, sorry. It's kind of got this cool sparkly like lace fabric on it. It's really cute. All right, so let's just jump right into your reading. So I'm going to be shuffling on camera today. I don't usually do this just because it takes so much time to show. And that's why I pre-shuffle usually, but I wanted to try something new today. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to take that because it jumped out. Um, you know what? We'll take both. 
So, whoa, look at those. I feel like I'm kind of picking up on two energies here. Well, obviously you and your person, but um, <laughs> this is very interesting. You guys see this? Um, so you got the Empress right here. What I love about this card is she actually, I love this card. She's so pretty. I love the, the bright red. So the red's like a really nice, like power card you know power color but look it, right here she's like holding her stomach like she's pregnant so that's very interesting so yeah you've got the empress and then you've <laughs> death jumped right out with it so i decided i'm gonna take it i don't normally uh take more than one of these cards like in every other pile i didn't but i'm you know for you i'm going to so that's interesting those are some interesting energies let me keep pulling cards sort of get more of an clarity and idea of what's going on here <clears throat> okay pile number three or sorry pile number four pile number four those who chose the pink beads and mask what is their person hiding what are they masking what are they hiding oh king of cups energy Ooh, that's pretty good now, King of Cups, the King of Cups is a really a good guy. He's a loving guy. Cups, of course, is all about love. He's got the water down here. So lots of emotions. He's not afraid to be emotional and vulnerable. So that's always good. We like, we like emotionally available men, right, guys? <laughs> or women. This could be either. Again, there's no, there's no, um, gender and tarot, but, um, just, um, sort of more masculine loving energy. All right. Good. Very good. Um, so this deck I'm shuffling up right now, this is the tarot of sexual magic. So again, for those who are 18 or older, if you're not 18 or older, please click off my video. This is for those who are 18 or older. What is their person hiding? Okay. One more go at this. I always like when the cards jump out, but it doesn't look like they're going to be jumping for me today. So pick this one. This is, ooh, two of swords. All right. It's two of swords. And last but not least... We've got this deck. What's the last in message for this pile, please? Oh, those who chose pile number four. What do they need to know about their person? The star, ooh, very nice. I love this star card, so pretty. Um, all right. So the star is a wish or a dream. So let's see, let me just kind of contemplate. This one's a toughie, you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. I'm having a little bit of a trouble kind of getting the message for this one. Let me get you your oracles as well here. Spirit, what is there? person hiding, those who chose group number four, what is their secret, what are they hiding, oh, that's way too many, <clears throat> alright, I'll keep the one that's right there, again, guys, this is why I don't shuffle on camera, I know my shuffling needs some work, oof, keep hitting the camera too, that's another thing, like, oh, so sorry if it's annoying to you, try in here, Oh, okay. Before I flip that one over, I just want to get out the cards for you. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. All right, you know what? I'll take the top one since you guys saw it. You got the little penguin soulmates card. How cute. All right, so this person you're thinking of, they might, in fact, be a soulmate or a someone from your soul family. Let's see, what does this say? says, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like someone's 
maybe grappling with a choice or a decision to make where they want to go next. Maybe in regards to you in a relationship, perhaps, for some of you. All right. Last but not least for these oracle cards, please tell me, spirit angels guides, for pile number four, what's something we need to know for their person? What secrets or masks? What masks or secrets are they hiding? Let's just go with this one. It says receive. Okay. Receive. All right. So you got receive here. So it says be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Okay. So this person might be wanting to give you a gift. I think it's funny because, um, I kind of got that vibe from other piles. So maybe you're watching more than one pile, huh? Um, but yeah, this person, uh, definitely didn't get a car like this in any other pile. This person is most likely a soulmate you're thinking of, potentially a twin flame. Um, so it says realign with love. So I feel like this person's secret isn't so much a secret, just that they are, um, they have a lot of love. They're a very loving person and they have a wish that they want and it may involve you. Um, I think it's kind of funny here, this card, it, he's kind of like offering this rose, but it seems like this person doesn't want it. So <laughs> I'm not sure if, uh, that's sort of your guys' energy so far. It's like maybe you guys have been playing a little playing a little cat and mouse kind of games and maybe you're maybe you're acting like you don't want this person's cup of love or this rose from this person, this particular person, but you're thinking of. But um yeah, it shows like wish fulfillment. So I feel like this person may view you as their wish come true. They may view you as the empress here. And um, as far as the death card goes, I know this is a little scary of a card to get, but death is always just about rebirth. So again, we also got the death in the last pile. So you may be watching, uh, may, maybe check out pile number three as well, um, pile number four, because I'm kind of getting the same message here. But yeah, death is about rebirth. And um, so maybe they just want a new start. Maybe they want a new start with you. All right, um, let me just get the advice from a unicorn here. So this is just my 2020 calendar. These are all the pages that were already pulled off for the year. So I'm just kind of gonna shuffle them up here randomly. Don't know which, okay, let's go with this one. It says, wine less, party more. <laughs> You guys see that? Wine less, party more. Okay. So I think this person wants to give you a gift or wants to hang out with you and kind of just have fun with you, have a party. They're um, in this loving energy towards you and they view you as the empress and they view you as the star, the, their wish come true. So all good here, you guys. I feel like this isn't really much of a secret. Maybe it is. Maybe they, maybe this person isn't who you think it is, but um, it says they're your soulmate. I mean, they, I don't know you guys, cause you should be thinking of a particular person, right? So you should at least know this person. Um, but yeah, this person, I think they might have a secret. Hey, so sorry about that. Group number uh, four, <laughs> uh, my camera died. I'm looking into getting a better camera. So, so sorry about that for the interruption, but, um, we were, I was basically just saying that this person has a lot of love in their heart for you. They view you as the empress and the star, their wish come true. And with this receive card, um, you know, they, they basically see you as a soulmate as well. So you may see them as a soulmate, but they definitely see you as a soulmate and they may in fact be wanting to give you something with this receive card. That's uh, basically to sum up <laughs> your spread here. And now I'm gonna just shake this up for the charms. Let's 
Sorry guys, it's like so loud. I know. I need a better way to do the charms because I feel like I'm going to go digging a little bit deeper here. Okay. Let me, let me grab something. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, let me just... I feel like I need a better way to do the charms. Okay, there we go. Ah, you guys, I love this. Okay, this is awesome. So do you guys see this right here? <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Look, this is the literally, I only have one of these, one charm of these. This is like the fleur-de-lis symbol. And this is, if you guys don't know, it is associated, well, here we go. It's associated with Mardi Gras in New Orleans. <laughs> it's like the same symbol. So that's amazing. That's just such a cool confirmation that this was an accurate reading, hopefully for you. <laughs> and then we also have the little starfish. So maybe you guys um, like the ocean or the sea. Maybe this person has something associated with the, the sea. Now, again, these charms are going to be maybe more meaningful to you. So definitely look for clues that pertain to your own life here. But then we have the key, you guys, and look, it's a little key with a heart inside it. So that means that this person really does see you as their key to their heart here with the soulmate card. And then we have the little star. Again, two star confirmations, you guys. I, I don't make this stuff up. Uh, star, star. Now this, um, is my little charm. It kind of reminds me of like the top to a pie. So this is just like my abundance charm. It means um, like gifts or um, happy surprises, treats, um, family. Like this reminds me of Thanksgiving. So it's kind of has to do with the receive card, I think, here. And last but not least, we have this cute little, this cute little, um, guy. I love him. He pops up in my readings all the time. He's my little charming uh, gentleman, my little southern gentleman here. <laughs> and I love it because he's Mr. Daddy Bones and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> the um, Mardi Gras in New Orleans. They're, they love their skeletons there. So yeah, so that kind of reminds me of this little death card too. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, Forgot one last thing. I was going to shake up these dice for you guys. So let's shake it up and see if you get any lucky numbers here. Okay, seeing I'm seeing a lot of twos. We got three twos, a couple fives, a couple ones, a couple fours, and one three. So those are maybe some important lucky numbers for you, but I'm seeing two as the most lucky number here for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. <laughs> if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Also subscribe if you want more fun readings like this. And I hope you guys had a very awesome and fun Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday. Unfortunately, this is, I'm sure, going to be uploaded a little too late because I always have all these, like, you know, recording problems and upload problems. But um, hope you had a wonderful day and um, have a magical, magical day today. And yeah, namaste. Hello, pile number five. You chose the red mask and the red beads. So... Let's jump right into your reading. So today I am shuffling the cards on screen. I am at least trying. <laughs> I am not good at it. Oh, um, I'm going to take those as <laughs> the cards since they flipped right over. Um, all right. That was the Eight of Cups and Three of Swords. Oh, very interesting. Okay, let me get all of the cards out first and then I'll kind of read intuitively as a spread here. Okay, so again, the question was, what is it that this person, that group number five, oh my goodness. <laughs> That's embarrassing, guys. Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> Man, you guys, I can't, I can't even bother deleting and starting over because <laughs> uh, this is why I don't, this is why I don't shuffle on stream, uh, screen in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> this is why I pre-shuffle. I swear I don't look at the cards before I shuffle. Okay. Anyway. Oh, 
Okay, you know what? You guys are gonna get you guys are getting a lot more cards than any other, but I'm just gonna take them, you know? Because if they flip like that, then I feel like they're we're supposed to be taking them. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting. Um okay, let's get one from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. One card, please, Spirit. <laughs> Uh, one card, please. Trying to keep this reading short. Trying to keep each reading to 10 minutes and I always end up going over and then it ruins my, <laughs> ruins my recording because I only have like, you know, like an hour of space. <laughs> I really need a new SD card, so... Hopefully, I'll get one soon so you guys don't have to hear me complain about it anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, Tarot Sexual Magic. Again, if you are under 18, please do not watch this reading. Um, this is for 18 or older, this deck. All right, so we've got... Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. That's a lot of skin, see? The Eight of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You guys see that little guy back there? <laughs> that is the devil. All right, uh, and last but not least, let's take one from this deck, the tarot cards, please. Oh my goodness. All right, well, it just flipped, so I'm going to take it, guys. I do not sugarcoat my readings. I try to read them as best as I can. So, you know, if the three of, <laughs> if the three of swords is jumping out of the deck, I got to take it, you guys. I'm sorry, I got to take the card. So, um, yeah, but let me let me get some... I feel like this one definitely, we need some oracles here to help us interpret this because I'm seeing some, seeing some struggles here. We got eight of cups, eight of swords, three of swords, twice you guys, look, I didn't even see that, twice, three of swords. Someone is going through a lot of heartbreak, you guys, this person you have in mind, they're really, really hurting right now, so... Um, that's what they're hiding from you. They're trying to hide it from probably everybody. They're really hurting. Um, you know, this one kind of wanted to go. I got a good feeling from that one. Okay, let me just shuffle these ones and we'll flip the, all of them at the same time. But yeah, like I said, you guys, I'm, I'm really trying to do a faster reading because uh, they end up going way too long. So if you pick the last pile, it's usually going to be the one where I'm like, Really trying to crunch for time. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway. Spirit, what more information do we need to know about pile number five or group number five's person? Please give us some guidance for group number five's person. Oh, kind of wanted to jump out. Okay, which one? This one or this one? Uh, you guys, you guys are getting all the cards today. I swear. Everyone else got just one of each. Okay, <laughs> but Spirit really wants me to take those cards, and I'm gonna take them for you because I feel like we need more messages on this person. This person's going through a lot. We need, we need to know. They got a lot more secrets <laughs> than the other piles, you guys. Uh, okay, so lastly. Any information we can get from this oracle? Whoa, I can't take all of those. Um, I'll take the top one. So you guys saw it. Okay. I'm um, sorry. I can only take so many. They won't fit on the screen otherwise. So we've got the action card. It says, now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Beautiful. So action, move forward with confidence. Um, I feel like this person may want you to act. They may want you to contact them. Again, we've got the, just to, just to review after I flip these, we've got the deep knowing. Okay, so there's something you know intuitively about this situation or, or it's, it's gonna be different for everybody, right? But you do have a four of wands, which indicates this is the 1111 card, you guys. So this means that you, and you did get yang as well, and, and yin and yang, as you guys know, are counterparts. So I feel like, uh, yeah, 
you may have already kind of intuitively know what's going on with this person. You can just kind of feel it with their energy. Like, you know, they've got this really tough, they're, they've got this Ten of Wands, which is burden, two, two, three of Swords cards, you guys. They're really broken up about something. They're kind of walking away from something here, too, in the Eight of Cups. You can see that? So, yeah. Ignore my messed up nails. <laughs> I thought my nails dried, and apparently they didn't, so they're getting messed up, but... Yeah, and then last but not least, this card says, when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Interesting. All right, so this person's secret, you guys, or their mask that they're putting on to hide the secret, the secret is that they are really broken up about something. They're really, really hurting, and you will know what that is about for your individual person because they are, they are, um, you know, it's going to be different for everyone's situation, right? Everyone has different lives. Everyone's going through different stuff, but this person, all I can tell you is that they're very broken up and they're heartbroken about something and it might be related to you guys or it might not be, but you'll know because you have, Spirit says you have deep knowing about what it is already. So whatever came to your mind, what you think it might be about, that's what it's about. Okay. All right, and um, sorry, I paused it. I just had to grab, uh, had to pause it for the time. The time's running out, but let me just get you a little advice from the unicorn here. Let's check this one. Real recognizes real. You guys, I love that. This is actually one that popped up before my last reading, so you may want to watch that. The whole who has a crush on you. This actually came out in an, in a past reading I did recently enough. So, real recognizes real. So you guys, again, you have deep knowing. This person most likely is your twin flame if you believe in twin flames. This is a seems like a twin flame relationship, and whatever's happening here, they're hiding that they're heartbroken about something that happened maybe with you or with another third party or something they're hiding that they're hurting okay so guys i'm also going to be shaking up this charms thing to look at charms real fast i'm only going to take a few again in the name of time i'm only going to have time for a little bit and then we're going to get you some okay here we go all right so you guys we've got the root chakra and then also the, I think this is the solar plexus chakra. Let's see, yeah, so this person is hurting in their chakras. They really need to do some grounding because then the root chakra is hurting. It means the whole rest of the chakra, all, all, rest, all the rest of the chakras are hurting. So they need to ground, maybe meditate, do some yoga, something like that. There is a treat here and a cute little pumpkin. So. I feel like those are kind of um, an action for you. It says you have an action card. They need you to cheer them up. They need you to give them a happy surprise or treat. Okay? That's what they want from you. They, they're not telling you, but they really need you to be a friend and give them some love and attention. Okay, so you've got three. You got a couple fours. Sorry, you got four ones fours, fives, and six. All right, so those are your lucky numbers. Um, yeah, uh, sorry to keep this short, you guys, but like I said, I gotta cut this video off uh, real fast now, but hopefully you got something out of that reading. If you did, please give it a nice big thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Please hit the subscribe button if you liked this video and you wanna see more from me. And I hope you had a amazing Fat Tuesday. And until next time, I hope you have a very magical, magical day. Namaste.